to always study abroad. I had a lot of friends that did it. And with pharmacy, it's kind of hard. You would have to take a bunch of courses over the summer. Um, so that's what really appealed to me, the fact that we could fit this into our program and have 10 weeks abroad while still getting this degree. Yeah, it was first mentioned during um, our CPD seminar last year, and I just couldn't get the idea out of my head. It sounded like a fun experience, and I wanted to challenge myself, too, put myself out there one, one last uh, challenge before um, graduation. It was pretty much the same for any other application-only rotation. You have your CV, and then they review that. You have to have a letter of intent. The interview, I would say, I know they ask you questions about, like, what do you expect to learn, what are you going to bring back about pharmacy, but they're also just checking to make sure, like, you're a normal human that can have conversations with people, and you're not going to, like, crack at the first opportunity you get there that's going to be different than what you're used to in America. And also, like, for the application experience, I think there was something about your international experience. Oh, yeah, yeah, a paper. I wrote a that. short paper about it. I used a lot of my high school experiences. Like, I was in French club, German club. Yeah. Those, so it doesn't have to be for students that study abroad or have that, you haven't had the opportunity to. It could be things that you've done in the past. Mine was high school, and I was even interviewed about it. Um, it was brought up. So it's not limited to people that have studied. I think mainly we were discussing the big differences between the American healthcare system and the Italian healthcare mm -hmm. system when it comes to medications and prescribing and the hospital versus the community. There's so many differences, but there are lots of similarities too. Mm -hmm. And the people of Italy are really passionate about pharmacy. I know that our preceptors mm -hmm. were. Yeah, they're still trying to push to be more clinical. They're trying to integrate ways to be more effective, uh, patient safety. So it is very much similar, but in regards to their overall healthcare system, learning those differences was very interesting. And even differences with the schooling, um, yeah. they've always been getting their doctorates over there and we just started a few years back. And for them, they actually have to write an entire thesis before they graduate, a thick book almost. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so that was different. And they have different rotations than we do, different classes. They have to take a whole class in cosmetics, which, which I would think yeah. would be interesting. We probably wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we made most of our, um, Rotation and it was really awesome. Yeah, even just starting in Italy, we went to Rome. We saw all the sites there: the Colosseum, um, Vatican. We toured. We did a lot of trips to Florence because it's actually closer the than you think. One. Mm -hmm. We would just go there for dinner to go shopping for the day if we wanted to. My favorite personally was Southern Italy. Um, we went to the island of Capri and did a boat tour there, which is really cool. But it's also easy to get to other countries. Right. We um, flew out of Rome for one of our big trips, which is Switzerland. Mm -hmm. We flew into Zurich, um, took the trains there to Interlaken. The trains were a big system. They were really helpful even getting out of Italy. Right. Um, Perfect. Really nice, really convenient. We even went to London for mm -hmm. the weekend. We saw Paris, we saw Amsterdam, we saw um, Barcelona. Barcelona, yeah. Berlin. There's yep. definitely a lot of opportunities for traveling. Absolutely. It's, yeah, pharmacy was a big part of it, but it was the experience of the lifetime. I would take the level of comfortability that I have now with like knowing that we went through all of that and we overcame like challenges abroad and language barriers and cultural barriers too and were able to come out successful with a rotation in Italy. Yeah, I think it built up our confidence a lot mm -hmm. going somewhere that we were so uncomfortable at first we didn't know anyone. We really did challenge ourselves. I've even used the experience in like interviews so far about right. mm -hmm. how you're challenging yourself, what obstacles you overcome, when it's time to make a difficult decision, how do you do it, and that all directly applies to this rotation. So mm -hmm. um, the confidence coming out of it is I've dealt something challenging and we were successful with it. It was the experience of a lifetime and when I look back on pharmacy school that's going to be one of the biggest things that I remember. Yeah.